so welcome friends uh, today this class 2 of 5 5 5 we have five basic classes so this is second class yesterday we had first class so thanks for joining early this morning and it is very early actually at 30 in the morning so thanks that you joined all you all joined in the time so without losing any more time we will uh, start uh, the class so i think you see the you see the agenda for today so agenda is nothing but more or less uh, repetition of yesterday's uh, concepts so uh, we'll see all these concepts with more examples so today's focus is not on theory today's focus is on hands on but still we'll repeat uh, some concept with more examples okay so big of words we did yesterday stemming lemmatization pos tagging part of switch tagging pos tagging yesterday we did lexical analysis syntactic analysis we did yesterday so we'll do a hands on today hmm uh, is is it clear now for others uh, somana is it clear voice is clear somana okay okay so is it breaking now okay is it okay now sauji is it okay now so this this is the agenda more or less that's what we covered in short yesterday so we'll see a bit in uh, detail today so first of all tokenization will repeat so sentence is 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 not cool that uh, ping pong is not included in uh, rio 2016 2016 is not cool that ping pong is included in rio 2016 so we do tokenization it's very obvious each word you uh, break into separate uh, thing and it is uh, separated by comma and it is called uh, tokenization so you can very clearly see it is one token not is one token cool is one token that is one token and uh, rio is one token 2016 is one token so basically each word is a unit here so it is called token and we break uh, a, a sentence or uh, the, onto a token level so that it is easy for us to do the data processing okay pre processing is easier when we do tokenization so we we move to the next concept so bag of words so bag of words i think we already covered yesterday so you consider these four sentences concentrate on the left hand side uh, left hand side part of the screen so there are four sentences given the red dog cat eats dog cat eats dog dog eats food and uh, red cat eats red cat eats so these four sentences are there very simple simple small sentences and uh, if i create a bag of word means unique words from them so i will remove stop words like the and all so these removed rest all are stop words so you can see stop in this table then there is a table with orange heading so these are the words actually which are not repeating so the red dog cat eats and food so these are the unique words that we have chosen out of these four sentences so this is nothing but of your bag of words so all these four sentences which is our corpus text corpus is four sentences out of these four sentences we have taken the unique words and uh, marked them as features in the top so these are the features of our, our features unique words the red dog eat cat eats food now you go to first sentence so how the first sentence will be represented so wherever its uh, words are coming in bag of words i'll mark as one so the red dog so the will be one red will be one and dog will be one rest cat eats and food will be zero understood now second sentence cat eats dog so the red is not there in this or the red will be zero zero between three are there cat, dog will be one cat will be one eat will be one so these three are there will be one and then food also is not there so similarly we convert uh, sentence three and four so someone i want uh, you to convert sentence uh, three into zero ones so can you convert looking at that Yeah, so now I think it is very well understood. 
so this is very well and if some some word repeats will increase the count if suppose d repeats in first sentence twice so will be increase its count to 2 3 4 whatever it repeats so that is what is basically written in this slide so first of all uh, we have to convert everything into lower case uh, we standard practice so generally any uh, sentence any document like with multiple sentences is has capitalization and all that so we convert it into lower case first then uh, remove all non word characters like uh, full stop comma exclamation mark question mark these kind of things and hash hashes are there in uh, tweets so all those things to be removed all non word character we have to remove so we remove that and remove all punctuation uh, punctuations like you understand punctuations like right? comma and all that so we remove that then declare a dictionary of uh, dictionary to hold our bag of words and then tokenize each sentence sentence we saw and for each word in the sentence check if word exists in the dictionary that's what we did by 0 and 1 if it does then we increment the count by 1 if it doesn't we add the word to our dictionary okay so like we have a dictionary first which represent uh, unique words of all the sentences in the corpus that we put in the top as uh, features and then individual sentences we code decode as 10s 10s and all that if any suppose the repeats or red repeats so we'll count the increase we'll increase the count of d or red by by one more so it there will be 2 and 2 so like that we do so that is called uh, bag of word representation so pretty simple and straight forward and then uh, i'm giving one more example so there we have three sent three movie reviews so review one movie is good review two movie is not good the movie is not good review three i love movie watch comma you will love it too so it has comma and full stop also so we have removed comma and full stop and uh, all the unique words we have taken from uh, review 1 review 2 and review 3 we have taken in the top so you see the bluish uh, feature uh, feature uh, table on the top feature heading so the movie is good of times not i love watch you will it too so these are the unique words which have which we found in these three reviews so we have put it on the top head, as headings and now if you want to decode review 1 so how you will you decode review 1 it is very obvious so himanshu can you repeat how can you we decode uh, review 1 the movie is good yeah so can you repeat which are ones and which are zeros rest all will be zero right so this is one example another example is uh, <coughs> these three words this is more uh, like uh, prudent example with multiple words so first uh, sentence is about the bird the bird 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 four times written second sentence is you heard about the bird and third sentence is written uh, the bird is the word so out of these sentences we have first chosen the unique word and make them headings as we usually do so we go to the first sentence so bird is repeated five times so you see entry in the bird is five d first sentence d is repeated two times so the entry is two so like that we have decoded all the sentences so this is third example on bag of words so today similarly we are taking more examples on all the concepts uh, which we learned uh, yesterday so on the right hand side if you see this this what basically we need to learn so in syntactic processing syntax means lemmatization part of speech tagging so part of part of speech tagging that uh, we saw yesterday i will repeat today also so part of speech tagging is something which uh, where your uh, syntactic analysis ends so you have lemmatization stemming and part of speech is part of speech pure tagging in syntax then comes semantic analysis semantic analysis means you understand the you get into two words meaning so the 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 like things which we have to learn in semantic analysis are ontology word sense this ambiguation and name entity recognition so if if you don't understand these things uh, don't worry we'll uh, repeat them in uh, next classes today we'll not uh, today we'll not repeat any of these things okay so these are the th today we are focusing more on syntactic analysis so stemming uh, same stemming suppose you just uh, come to the example 
so second second bullet so for example flying is a word and its suffix is ing ing is the stuffing and flying is the word so in in uh, stemming what we do just remove the suffix so we'll remove ing so stem of the word stem of the word flying will be fly so we see in the more examples so paying will be uh, playing will be play plays will be play and uh, played will be play so very simple word is uh, all the suffix ed is suffix s is suffix and ing is suffix we are removing the suffix and uh, coming to the base word okay then uh, car cars cars and cars so say these four forms are car are written car cars car apostrophe s s then car s cars apostrophe s so its uh, stem, stem will be car okay so this that's how we create uh, like uh, that is where this is what is lemmatization so we'll see the difference between uh, stemming and lemmatization so first we see the first we first we see here so lemmatization so studying studying studies so studying studies and study so we the base word for these all the three words in the left hand side is study so we we in lemmatization we get into real base word so base word is study here so we come to study so now you will wonder what is the difference between stemming and lemmatization so here now you will learn the difference between stemming and lemmatization first uh, first left hand side is uh, done uh, which is stemming and uh, right hand side is uh, uh, your lemmatization so you understand the difference now so spend a minute to have a look at this ppt so see how lemmatization is done so change changing changes changed and changer all the simply they have removed the suffix so what remains is change change is a, not a word in english it is not a word it, is not, it doesn't make any sense in english so that is what is stemming is doing that is what stemming is doing what lemmatization is doing lemmatization is not only removing suffix but it is converting all these forms into proper word proper word proper base word so that is what lemmatization is so lemmatization is more meaningful and hard work compared to stemming so then you will ask me why stemming and when stemming is done and when lemmatization is done so stemming is stemming is basically quick and dirty work quick and dirty work you when you want to do you just remove the uh, it is very less uh, mind now very less logic just remove the suffix and uh, take the base word and don't care whether that base word is may, making sense or not so that is quick and dirty work so accuracy of analysis will not be that great but when you want to do proper work nice work then you go for lemmatization so change changing changes changed year so we are uh, the base word we are converting into base word change so that's what is lemmatization so when you do lemmatization you want to do proper analysis you are you have proper computing resources because you take more computing power you have better computing resources and you want better analysis accuracy then in, the, in that case you go for in you go for uh, lemmatization and if you want quick and dirty work you go for stemming okay so and why we do this first of all why stemming and lemmatization is needed so see whenever we have a corpus of uh, sentences or corpus of words all these type of sentences which you have suppose in a big document we have change your appearing as change changing changes changed and changer so all this is originating from uh, change so we want to convert it into so we don't want to keep it as separate feature we don't want to keep change as one feature changing as one feature changes as one feature changed one feature and change as one feature like that we don't want to do all of these things are represent some kind of change so that's what is important for us so in the document wherever different different form of changes change are appearing we'll reduce them to the base form change and we keep it as a only one base base word change so it is a part of data pre processing understood na so shalesh is it understood the difference between uh, stemming and lemmatization dr shalesh are you there so it is clear right uh, sahu ji okay chalo so like uh, 
see here see here very interesting word is information stemming is inform see i o n a t i o n t i o n is uh, t i o n is uh, your uh, suffix so t i o n is suffix so stemming stemming is doing it as uh, inform and lemmatization is doing uh, keeping it same as information then informative so informative stemming is inform but it is keep lemmatization is keeping it same informative computers stemming is making it compute so compute doesn't mean anything in english but lemmatization is doing to proper word computer feet so feet uh, lemmatization is because there is no suffix in feet so stemming is keeping as it is, as it is feet with feet it is plural only but uh, lemmatization is converting into proper uh, word so uh, like uh, and this all uh, you know that it will be all automatically done by the computer algorithms so you need not worry about it but you need to understand the difference between stemming and lemmatization so see it is very yeah see but uh, the example which i got here uh, means that your computer algorithm wants to keep it for some reason they want to keep it as information only in lemmatization and i have no reason for that why they are doing like that maybe some language expert can tell it better but uh, it is a computer generated example so whatever they come, the software is generating is lemmatization so it is keeping keeping as information and for that i don't have any reason so maybe any language uh, reasoning is behind that so inform i think is a different word i think inform means to inform somebody and information is meaning information yeah so in, so both are different i think both have different meaning so both have inform and information has both different meaning so i think lemmatization is more towards not changing the meaning and the stemming doesn't care whether meaning is changing or whatever is happening so lemmatization is more more uh, towards not changing the meaning meaning of the sentence meaning of the word so information if they do inform the whole meaning changes so i think they are keeping it as information and similarly informative also lemmatization is not changing computers uh, feet if computers and feet is pretty obvious computer based word is computer and feet based word is foot so that lemmatization is pretty obvious i have included this information thing here to show you the like uh, sometimes some uh, different things can occur whatever you expect you expect it to become informed but uh, it is not done it is not being done like that it is uh, converted as information and informative only so that's why i have included it included it here so i think the most probably the reason is that they don't want to change the meaning of the particular uh, sentence the meaning of that particular word they don't want to change so different inform and information huh yeah 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 so now we understand that lemmatization is more towards the meaning so keeping the meaning same they are taking the base word so that's what is the more precise definition of uh, keeping the meaning same they are uh, deriving the base word so that is the proper definition of uh, lemmatization and uh, stemming is nothing but simply remove the suffix and whatever is comes is uh, stemming so there is a modern language there are two libraries mainly which we use in um, python libraries which is one is spacey and one is nltk so spacey doesn't have stemming at all they don't allow you to do stemming they tell you that you do if you are doing nlp do proper analysis and do only lemmatization so they don't uh, provide any stemming facility in a spacey it is a modern library and older libraries nltk so they provide both stemming as well as the lemmatization so now here uh, part of speech so now we are coming to part of speech so there are uh, basic part of speech noun n verb v adjective a and adverb r adverb is so you should remember adverb adverb is uh, tag is r for adverb so part of speech is nothing but uh, different different part of sentence uh, parts of sentence like noun verb adjective adverb 
So breaking a sentence into this particular things, noun, which is noun, which word is noun, which is verb, which is adjective, which is adverb. So that is called part of switching, part of speech tagging. It is called POS. So part of part of speech tagger labels word words and see the definition. Labels the word as one of the several categories to specify identify words function in the given language. So what POS tag what a tag what a POS tag does? It identifies the words function in the in a given language. So word function can be noun, it can be verb, it can be adjective, and it can be adverb. And you can you will see going forward that there are several uh, uh, other uh, tags. Uh, there are so many tags available. So in English language, word fall into eight or nine parts of speech. Uh, so eight or nine part of speech. So these are eight or nine part of main main tags. So now see uh, round go uh, clockwise. Noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition. Conjunction and uh, interjection. So explaining these things is not the not in the scope of this particular lecture because these are very basic uh, high school uh, English taught in high school English. So I think many of you guys will be confused in pre what is preposition, what is conjunction, what is interjection. So I will share this PPT and I will advise you to just Google it out. What are these things? So these are basic uh, your part of speech tags. So I think this is what your sentence is made up of. Then uh, your actual part of speech tag used by CMU tagger. So there are so many part of speech tagger available. So many type of tagger, tagger tools are available. So one of them, one of the tool is CMU tagger. So these are the 37 uh, tags used by uh, CMU tagger. So just spend a minute to have a look. So JJ is adjective, JJR is adjective comparative, VBD is verb in past tense. So like that, have a look, uh, spend a sentence to, uh, like for tweet, one RT, 20, notice number 24, for tweet also one is there, RT. RT means retweet. RT means retweet. So for tweet also they have given one tag, RT, retweet. So just spend a minute to have a look at uh, this. Uh, so I think as you do more and more NLP analysis, uh, these uh, tags uh, become by heart to you, like you remember these tags. But in the beginning, like uh, you have to keep these tags very handy somewhere. And whenever uh, any tagging comes and you see any tag, you may not remember what is WDT, C35, WDT, WH determiner. So you may not see, you may not remember what is WDT. So you might have to refer to your uh, document wherever you have kept. Maybe you can save it on desktop and uh, you can uh, refer to it quickly that what that particular tag represents. But the result of your POS tagger, the whatever result comes out of your POS tagger will be in the form of tag. So it, it will be coded RB, RBR. So notice 20, 21, 22, 23. RB, RBR, RBS, RP. So tagger will come out uh, like a result will come out of uh, like a coded form. So it will be coded in the tag form. You may not understand the meaning just looking at the tag. So you may have to refer to this document. So what is the tag meaning? And this is only for CMU tagger. Some other tagger can have more or less uh, and they may have different tags also. So you have to be careful uh, that which tag you are using. And uh, maybe in the documentation of that particular tagger, tag, tagger tool, you will find the which tag, which kind of tags that particular tool is using. So you may have to refer its documentation. So this is only for CMU tagger, which is a very specific tagger for, uh, which is a very specific tagger for uh, POS tagging. So this is an example thing, and these tags may vary from one tagger to another. So you have to see which tagger you are using, and uh, you have to refer to its documentation. So now here I have included some example. So sentence is I want an early upgrade. So maybe some guy is uh, traveling or is interacting with a chatbot, airline chatbot, or a hotel a hotel room chatbot like a hotel reservation chatbot, and the guy is telling that I want an early upgrade, Up maybe upgrade of room or upgrade of uh, class in flight. So those kind of things he is asking. So see how it is broken into part of speech tag. So I is pronoun, uh, want is verb, 
uh, n is the determiner early is an adjective and uh, noun is uh, an upgrade so i think if you don't understand the meaning of these particular tags uh, it is out of scope for this class because that gets into more uh, linguistics more language science so i think you need to google and help yourself to understand the meaning of this but all tags so there's another example you see she sells seashells sea on the seashore she sells sea seashells on the seashore that is the sentence so now if i convert it into tags so it will look like this prp preposition vbz uh, maybe verb then nns uh, some kind of noun then in then dt dt is a determiner n is again some kind of noun so nns and uh, uh, seashore both are nouns but uh, see one is represented by nns and uh, one is represented by nn so maybe i guess uh, s is put because it is a plural i am not sure but uh, so we have to see what each tag represents so whatever comes out of uh, your pos tiger will be in this format so uh, then you have uh, then you have all thing all thing are done for this class theory class is very short today so i think we are done for the theory class and now we'll get into we'll get into uh hands on so i'll give it 10 minutes break but uh, i'll pause here for a couple of minutes if you have any questions anyone i think it is a repetition of uh, yesterday i included more examples so that uh, these concepts are more clear to you and whatever we have learned today comes under syntactic analysis so today's focus was syntactic analysis and i'll repeat once again here syntactic analysis we focus on these three things stemming lemmatization and part of speech tagging so with this you will understand very well what is part of speech what are uh, what is pos tagging what is a pos tag you understand very well so if when we do pos tagging our syntactic analysis ends and then we get into semantics analysis which is more into getting the meaning of that particular uh, sentence so till now we are not concerned with the meaning we are analyzing the sentence we are doing a tokenization here so first we did the tokenization see tokenization then we formed bag of words so bag of words then uh, lemmatization stemming we saw and there we saw pos tagging so it is all comes under uh, syntactic analysis so we are not yet still this stage we are analyzing and break uh, the sentence only and the sentence and the document we are not bothered about its meaning so after this we will start bothering about its meaning in semantic analysis so that will be the subject of tomorrow's class so till now if anybody has any questions then uh, you are most uh, more than welcome to ask i'll take a minute break here and uh, if uh, no questions then uh, sahu uh, shalesh and uh, himanshu anybody so, uh, Someone any question? Easy today, right? So I just included more examples. So its time is uh, eight fifty-seven. You please come on nine fifteen. I'll give you a tea break for fifteen minutes, and. Uh,